Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm DJ at War, and you're here with Top House Music Blog and me in the studio here in Newmarket, which is right near Cambridge in England. I'm not actually from England. I'm actually from America um, in particular, in Pennsylvania, in a small town called Gettysburg, which is famous for uh, a big battle in the American Civil War. But for the past couple of years, I've been living here in England and enjoying it and uh, enjoying the music. Well, I started really listening to music in um, the skating rinks when I was going to skating rinks when I was young. And at the time, they were playing a lot of old school electro, like Africa Bambata, Kraftwerk, Debbie Deb, um, Egyptian Lover. Um, and then a little bit later on, I started listening to Baltimore radio because I was living in southern Pennsylvania and Baltimore was about an hour away. Started listening to the radio stations out there. And there they were playing a lot of hip hop along with a lot of Baltimore club music, a lot of old school house music like Cashmere. Um, a little bit later on, started listening to more like Chicago house, stuff like Bad Boy Bill, DJ Tragic, DJ Funk. Um, and when I moved over here to England, I wasn't really getting into the house music that was that was really big at the time. A lot of it was really kind of funky and really disco-y and it wasn't really my kind of thing. Um, until a few years later, when I started hearing some of the Dutch guys like Layback Luke and Afrojack and they were, uh, they were using a lot of the different rhythms that I was hearing from back in my youth in Baltimore. And, um, and that's really where I started getting the love again for the house music and really started getting into the producing. And, uh, and it's just been going up and up since then. My most memorable club experience was actually my very first gig, um, which was some time ago when I was living in San Antonio in Texas. And um, I used to practice all these complicated routines a lot for when I would uh, someday get to DJ in a club. And so I'd been invited to DJ at this club called North Pole. And so I was sitting there uh, in the DJ booth and these two guys were DJing and they were just ignoring me the whole night. Um, didn't even say hi to me or anything. Uh, so the night's going on, the club is packed. And um, so finally I, I go up to one of them and I say, hey, you know, do you mind if I play a couple records? They're like, okay, yeah, let the kid on. So I get on and I have this great routine put together and everything that I'm gonna do. And uh, so I go to the right turntable, I put my first record on, but the light on the turntable is out. So I couldn't see where the grooves of the records were. So um, instead of going to the start of the instrumental that I was gonna put on, I ended up going to the end of it. And uh, so, I put, so I put it on and I go to grab my second record, put the acapella on the second turntable. And as I'm putting the record on the second turntable, the, the, the music starts fading on the right turntable and the DJ, and, and I didn't even know what was going on at the time. And the DJs that were there were like, get the hell off, what the hell is going on? What the hell's going on? And the people are looking up at me like, what the hell is going on? And uh, yeah, it was really embarrassing for me. Uh, and needless to say, I didn't, uh, I didn't ever DJ at that club again. But uh, yeah, that was my first gig and that was definitely a memorable one. If you were to go through my iPod right now, you'd find a really wide variety of music. Uh, I like to listen to all types of music. I listen to electro house and progressive house, but I also like to listen to drum and bass and dubstep, uh, old school hip hop, Latin music. Uh, I listen to literally everything, um, which is really funny because uh, sometimes I'm in the car and I'm driving, and um, so my girlfriend makes fun of me because what you have is like a really hard banging jump, jump up drum and bass record. And, um, and then after that, you'll have a really hard Electro House record. And then after that, you'll have a soft piano piece by Chili Gonzalez. Um, so it's really funny listening to the, uh, to the music in the car because you get a wide variety of different things. So I like to listen to everything. Well, my studio setup is really kind of minimal. I produce off of my laptop along with uh, some, some KRK speakers and a MIDI controller. Um, so I don't actually use any hardware per se, but I would say that my favorite plugin is uh, probably the SSL compressor by Waves. And I really like that compressor. Um, I don't actually like compression as a whole, uh, a whole lot in my mixes, but I use the SSL compressor 
um, to help glue like my drums together, help glue the mix together, and it's really great for helping um, those those elements sound as one. So it's a really great coloring compressor that um, that I use a lot. Hmm. Advice that I would give for somebody that's looking to get into the music industry. Don't do it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. If you were looking to get into the music industry, uh, first piece of advice I would give is uh, learn how to do it yourself. And that's whether uh, it's management, whether uh, it's looking to get gigs. Um, you just have to learn how to do it yourself. Even with web design, I design my own website. Um, check it out, www.djatwar.com. Uh, and uh, yeah, you just have to do it yourself. Second piece of advice. You have to experiment, you have to get in there and just actually get your hands on the gear or on the plugins. And you just have to try different things out, throw paint against the wall, not literally. But um, you just have to get in there and, and just really find your own sounds and just have to work hard. Um, and that's what I would advise for anybody looking to get in the industry. And with that, uh, with that I'm DJ at War and you're in tune with Top House Music Blog. Thanks for having me, and I'm signing off. See ya.